a loud and very public end to a story the American people watched unfold for days, a high-altitude balloon crossing the country, which the U.S. military said was China's attempt to spy on the U.S. It was shot down Saturday when an F-22 fighter jet launched a single missile, the balloon and equipment plunging into the Atlantic Ocean. Now, as the U.S. Navy works to retrieve the debris, a growing criticism in Washington that the balloon got that far. The president was paralyzed for an entire week by a balloon. Um, we should have shot this balloon down over the Aleutian Islands. We should never have allowed it to transit the entire continental United States. It doesn't seem like the president knew about the balloon then. According to Pentagon officials, it was first picked up off the coast of Alaska on Saturday, January 28th, transiting through Canada and then entering through northern Idaho and on to Montana on the 28th, the following Tuesday. That was the day that the White House says President Joe Biden was first informed. He gave the order to shoot it down Wednesday. The military says it wasn't safe to do it over land, so they waited until it reached the coast. We sent a clear message to China that this is not acceptable. We protected civilians. We gained more intelligence while protecting our own sensitive information. We believe this week the Gang of Eight is going to be briefed on the incident. That's the leadership of the intelligence committees and of the House and the Senate, both Democrats and Republicans. The following week on February 15th, we believe the entire Senate is going to get a classified briefing, meaning this controversy and these criticisms are unlikely to end anytime soon. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.